Hey, hey, it's Mrs. Massey, and today we are going to be talking about our nines facts. And with that, the strategy that we are going to be using for our nines facts is finding our 10 and taking away one group. So first making our 10 and then taking away one group of our number. So we are going to be applying that to a real world experience problem. If you have not already watched our description video of how to find your nines facts and use the strategy I just described, go ahead and go back to that video before you continue. All right, so our real world application problem is about a girl named Donna and she is needing to buy carpet square tiles for her living room. And she wants to know how many she needs to buy so that she doesn't waste her money and end up buying too much or end up buying too few and then having to go back. So the floor in her living room is nine feet long by seven feet wide. And she wants to know, okay, how many square feet cover the floor so I know how many of those carpet squares to buy. So our multiplication equation here is that we need to figure out how many nine groups of seven is, or nine times seven. Now, if you remember right from our description video, first of all, we need to figure out um, what 10 groups of seven is. And if you don't know what 10 groups of seven is, quickly off of the top of your head, you can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Or use our zeros tricks and just do seven times one, which is seven, and add on a zero, which makes it 70. So we know that 10 groups of seven equals 70. So since it's actually nine groups of seven, let's just take away one group of that seven. So what is 70 minus seven? Seventy minus seven is sixty-three. So nine times seven is sixty-three, or nine groups of seven is sixty-three. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask your teacher. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make good choices and have a great rest of your day. Bye!